What's going on everyone? Daniel Rodriguez here and welcome to my non-spoiler review for Tyler Perry's Boo! A Medea Halloween. So in this review, I'm going to be giving you guys my pros and cons and final score for this film. Telling you whether or not you should go check this out in theaters, wait for rental, or maybe just never see this film at all. And of course, as usual, the whole cast is portrayed by Tyler Perry. So the basic plot for Boo! A Medea Halloween is, it's Halloween, obviously, one of Tyler Perry's 50,000 characters, I think he's Medea's son, or Medea, Medea's uh, the aunt of his character, he ends up calling her and says, hey, I'm going to be out, uh, I don't want my daughter to go to this frat party down the street, you know, alcohol, boys, sex, without a condom, stuff like that, so she ends up coming along and all this crap starts happening that usually wouldn't happen uh, to anybody. Now before I get on to the pros, I just want to address that I don't hate Tyler Perry or really the Medea franchise. I have enjoyed a few films. Uh, I do laugh during the films, but I will say that this Halloween film was not a step forward in the Medea franchise. To me, it was a step backwards. Ever since the first teaser trailer for this film released, I knew it was going to be gutter material. Now, there was only one thing in this film that I really liked, and that was a few of the jokes. And I rewatched the first trailer, and basically, all the funny parts in the first trailer are all the funny scenes in the film. Now, this is my fault. I saw this film three weeks ago. I haven't made a review on it. Many stuff came up, Comic-Con and TV shows, and many more films came after it. But the thing is, is even a day or two later, it is a forgettable film. This film has a very predictable storyline, as well very cliched. Hey, and I understand when I walk into the theater watching a Medea film, I'm not I'm not expecting a Oscar contender. I'm not expecting a great whoa, 10 out of a 10, but it, it's still this again, I said it was a step backwards in the franchise. There's this message, and I'll say this, with his daughter, and the daughter always talks bad to his character, and there's this message, and I understand the message. I'm okay with the messages, but when every five seconds the daughter's so annoying, and, and Medea and them are putting up with it, and this, and it's scary. This is a Ouija board. Woo, spooky. Oh, yeah. It gets boring, and it's, it's tacky, and, and, it, it, and the message is stuck down your throat every five seconds. Respect your parents, respect your parents. Don't talk back. It's always down your throat, forced in your face, and that's what really pissed me off during this film. As well, not a huge shocker, but the acting is not the best. Now, like I said a few moments ago, this film is very forgettable, but one of the bad things that is very memorable is the long scenes. There are literally three or four scenes that I remember that dragged on and went on and on and on. And the jokes, it was like, we're just doing jokes, we're improvising, we're doing this, we're doing that. But it just kept on going and going and going. And I literally felt we were in the, the living room for 10 minutes. It literally felt forever. And I was like, is the story going to progress? What are we doing? What, what are we, what, why? Because uh, I just, when I was in the theater, sitting there, Where's the progression? You guys literally spent 10 minutes in a room arguing. Uh, not even arguing over huge stuff, just like, I think it was, well, it was like, put the hammer down and this and that. But 10 minutes of it, again, I get your message, I get this, you don't need to force it down me every five seconds or punch me in the throat or punch me in the face with it. it, it long drag scenes hurt this film. And last but not least for this predictable film, literally you could tell how it's going to end. There's not a big shock or a big twist or anything to, whoa, worth my six bucks. With this, there, there, there are a few things where you're like, how did that happen? And it kind of gets explained at the end of the movie, but not really how everything, like there are a few events where you're like, how did that happen? And, and the reason of these frat boys is it, so sick. Stupid. It's almost like neighbors, not really, but neighborish in 21 Jump Street or 22 Jump Street, like dorm college shit. Like it, it, it's like, whatever, man, I've seen this before. Anyway, I'm going to give 
boo a Medea Halloween a 4 out of a 10. Is Tyler Perry's boo a Medea Halloween worth watching in theaters? No. Even if you're a big Medea fan, it's, it's a step backwards. And, and I'm going to be honest, and I'm not racist here or anything, but there is a certain demographic that... Ooh, a new Tyler Perry film. We're going to watch it in theater. Get all your friends and everything. You know, and, and uh, that may just be me because I go to the movies every week. I'm a movie reviewer. Some people don't go to the movies every week. It's like a treat for them once every few months. And I understand. I used to be like that before I went to movies every single week. I understand. It's a treat to some people. The money-wise and everything. They don't go to the movies all the time. But quality. Quality. You know, some people think... This was an amazing film. Whoa, 10 out of 10. Quality. You gotta know the quality. But then some people don't care for that. They just watch it for entertainment. But to me, it, it, it wasn't. It, there are a few funny scenes. Uh, Medea's fine in here. Tyler Perry's Medea. He, he's great, as always, as the character of Medea. But even if you're a hardcore Medea fan and you haven't seen this film, wait for, wait for not even rental... Wait for it to be on TV in a year or two. Wait, wait for it to stream on Netflix or something. Don't, don't, don't need to rent it or buy it. Or, you know, just wait for it to be on TV, something like that. It's not nothing you need to rush or pay money for, nothing like that. Uh, you know, Even if you're a big Medea fan, it's a step backwards, not a step forward. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed, make sure to smack that like button. You can comment down below to me what you guys thought about Tyler Perry's Boo, a Medea Halloween. Did you watch it? What did you think? Share with your friends. Hit that subscribe button for more awesome movie reviews every single week. Upcoming uh, reviews, Deepwater Horizon, The Girl on the Train, and uh, much, much more, man. Stay tuned. Jack Reacher, never go back. Until next time, bye-bye.